try me Think twice, think twice If you wanna want me up, you gon' be up all night Thought he had me, but he lost me Damn right, you gotta be a real one to come and catch his vibe Okay, so boom Obviously, you wanna start with a blank hoodie now i got this hoodie and the other gray one that i'm going to show you later from hobby lobby and you want to start by cutting the entire back out And look at my crazy tail self done cut the freaking string on accident, but we're not going to need it. You'll see why later. So afterwards, you want to flip the hoodie around to the front and cut the little band off at the end because more than likely you're not going to need it unless you want to keep it on but I wanted to crop it a little bit but I wanted to keep the pocket so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the seam ripper and I'm taking the pocket off and we're going to reposition it later when I crop the hoodie some more So you want to make sure you have like a pencil or a tailoring chalk to mark where the top of your pocket is going to go because that's going to determine whether or not your pocket is going to be centered or not when you reposition it. So when you have the placement of your pocket where you want it to be, it'll be a good idea if you get some pins and pin down the pocket so it doesn't shift when you sew it. Because on my other hoodie that I did, I don't know who told me to do this, but I had tried to sew it without the pins. And needless to say, I had to redo it. So yeah, just go ahead and pin that pocket down, save you some time. So before y'all trying to get on my head, yes, I know my posture is terrible and I shouldn't be sitting on this floor sewing, but I had to do what I had to do. So I like to use the zigzag pattern on the pocket just because I think it looks cute. And at the bottom, I'm going to do like a double zigzag pattern just to um, reinforce it. But by all means, if you want to just use the regular like straight pattern, that's cool too. So you're going to flip the hoodie around 
and you're gonna draw the lines for the holes for the lace or the lace up part of the hoodie um, I attempted to use this tape measure to make my line straight but I had to end up going back and redoing them because as you can see these are a little bit crooked and I used the paracord from Hobby Lobby just because it's a little bit sturdier than shoelaces and the colors were cute And of course, once again, my crazy self didn't reposition the camera so you guys could see me lace it. So we're just going to fast forward through this whole process. These patches I also got from Hobby Lobby, but you can also get patches from Amazon depending on what colors or shapes you're looking for. And it doesn't really matter per se what positioning you have. I just wanted them to be on the arms. And so make sure you center where that little fold line is on the sleeve. So you can make sure that your patches are in the middle. And then you can use the tape measure to kind of make sure that each patch is the same distance from each other. Whenever you're ironing patches or using um, heat fix crystals, you never want to put the iron on top of them directly. You want to use like a handkerchief or like an ironing cloth on top of it. And you want to place the iron on either the cotton or the linen setting and keep it on each patch for 15 to 20 seconds making sure you're applying even pressure and then after you do that you're going to take the sleeve and turn it inside out and repeat the same process so i thought it would be a cute addition to replace the hoodie string with the same color string that you use on the back that's of course really easy to do um, whenever you're working with this cord you want to make sure that you burn the free ends because it will start to unravel a little bit and you just want to unknot the drawstring and pull it out and then attach the jumbo safety pin and just inch it throughout the hole for the hoodie until it comes out on the other end. Once you get it all the way through the hoodie, you want to take the safety pin off and then tie the ends and that's it. And you know, it's a little cute little sauce, you know, a little flavor or whatever. You can add more patches if you would like, or less. And then I also made a gray one. If you follow me on TikTok, you've already seen the gray one. And so, yeah, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, follow my social medias. And that's it.